So good. It did smell so good. Yeah, so if you're eating something, mm -hmm. usually you like to drink something with it. Especially with a steak, right? Some of the hottest drinks around heading into summer are canned cocktails. Classic mixes that come ready made, pop the top, pour and sip. The April issue of Food and Wine magazine did a taste test and came up with a short list of some of the best. Executive wine editor Ray Isle shows us a couple of his favorites. It's great to be here. I'm Ray Isle. I'm the executive wine editor for Food and Wine magazine. And I thought I'd come on today and talk to you a little bit about this. It's kind of like wild canned cocktail trend that's going on. Canned cocktails are meant to RTD drinks. Let's call them ready to drink, you know, um, things that include seltzer and are up enormously, 40%. And what I think is really interesting, though, is that the quality of canned cocktails specifically has really risen. Everybody knows, you know, you used to, you know, everybody's probably had a canned margarita. You pop it open and taste it, and it, it tastes sort of like vaguely like lime. Like, that's not what these are about. This That's the sort of bottom shelf. These are really well done, beautifully done, um, bartender and cocktail guy created cocktails. Um, and we just did in our April issue, which is out right now, our big wine issue of the year, um, we just did a tasting of 45 of these and pulled out the best few um, for people to check out. One, Bully Boy Spirits, their Amaro Spritz. Now this came, Bully Boy is a Boston craft distiller. They make really good gin, really good rum. They started making Amaro, which is a bitter Italian digestive. They thought, why don't we, you know, make it into a spritz? Um, you know, delicious, fizzy, perfect for summer, um, really nicely citrusy, sort of citrus peel, a little very faint hint of bitterness, but not too much. Um, a little bit of sweetness and just super refreshing. Another one, um, Dash Fire. This is, I, I was really impressed by this. This is a fig and cascaro of Manhattan. And I'm a Manhattan drinker, I'm hard to please on these things. Um, the fig and cascara is a Manhattan that's flavored with fig, obviously. And then cascara, which is a tea that's made from the, from the skin of the coffee fruit, which you get coffee beans from. So it gives it the cinnamony complexity that is unusual and really, really delicious. This is a full strength cocktail, and this is the one serving you get in your can. Um, you know, that's it right there. Um, kind of cute, kind of kind of nifty, easy to carry on a hike if you want to take, you know, go camping one night and you need a cocktail before bedtime. Um, and then Tip Top Spirits, um, another top performer in our tasting out of Atlanta. This is an old fashioned, so, you know, um, bourbon, a little bit of, a little bit of sugar, a little bit of bitters. And, you know, I, I tried this when we were tasting, when we were tasting wine, and I thought this could have been made by a bartender at a top bar. I think these are wonderful. Um, if you want something to sip, I'll give you a reason to sip it, which is that food and wine, our classic at Aspen, um, normally is in the summer, 5,000 people, big event, massive amounts of food, great fun. Obviously, there was this pandemic, kind of got in the way, so we recreated it virtually. And we're having another virtual food and wine classic at home Saturday, May 1st, May 5 p.m. East Coast, 4 p.m. Central. Um, it's complimentary. Um, you just have to check out our website. You register for it, and there'll be chefs like Kwame Anwachi, who's a James Beard Award winning, um, brilliant chef. Um, I'll be on there doing a wine tasting, as a matter of fact, and you can order the wines in advance through wine.com if you want to taste along. And it'll be super fun, and some of the proceeds go to charity. The proceeds from our advertisers is no cost to you as a guest, as someone who wants to watch. And I just urge everybody to sign up for it and have a great time. To register for the Food and Wine Classic at Home on May 1st, go to foodandwine.com. Food and Wine is published by the parent company of this station. That's the Meredith Corporation. That's Spritz. Spritzer looks good. A little tanginess, just a slight bitterness. It sounds like it's bigger than the Catalina wine mixer. <laughs>